Good morning. This is Mr. Priscilla, and today we're discussing the evolution of numeration systems. Hopefully you've had a chance to read in your uh, book about uh, different numeration systems, like the Egyptian numeration system, Roman numerals, the Chinese numeral system, and we're going to do some problems now working with this uh, these ancient numeration systems. Just sort of give you an idea. We start off by working with the Egyptian numeral system. Okay? So, problem number one, the first one we're doing today says write this Egyptian numeral using a Hindu Arabic numeral. Now, the Hindu Arabic numerals are the ones that we use today. Okay? And so, uh, the Egyptian numeral system. Their enumeration system was just a simple grouping and you just sort of add it together. Okay, you look at this chart to find the value and add together. I believe if you had a chance to watch the videos, Rebecca gave the names for all of these and they were in the book like this is called a stroke and there's a sawbone and so forth. But for us, let's see, if we're looking at this, there's Three hundreds, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and then these, the upside down U's or the intersection symbols, I guess, look like, I mean, are ten. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. So we're just adding three hundred plus seventy plus these little strokes here are just a single one. So 372 is our answer on that one. Now, let's look at another one. Number two, right? This Egyptian numeral using the Hindu Arabic numeration system. So let's see, this first little symbol here is 10,000. Then plus a thousand. So we have ten thousand. Oops. Mm. Can y'all see that? Ten thousand. Maybe I should have stuck to a darker color. Plus a thousand. And then we have three of the hundreds. So that would be three hundred. And then here come the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 10,000 plus 1,000. So that's 11,344. Okay. Here's another one. Right, number three, write this Egyptian numeral using our Hindu Arabic number system. So let's see. Ooh, this one's going to be a big one because look at this. We have three of these one million symbols. Ooh, that's sort of low. Can y'all see that from pointing? We have three of these one millions. So that would be three million. Three million. And then one of these look like a whale. That's a hundred thousand. One, two, three, four. So that's each one of these little marks is ten thousand, so forty thousand. One, two, three, ten, uh, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. 200, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, so it's 3 million, 143,240. Okay, notice there were no, none of the little strokes at the end. Okay, so it's just a multiple of 10. 200 plus 40. So 3 million plus 100,000, 
plus 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 200 plus 40. You have 3,143,240. Do you see how I'm adding all of this up? You just locate the little symbol. This is a 1 million symbol, and there's three of them, so 3 million. There's one, one of the 100,000 symbols for the 10,000, so that's 40,000. Three of the 1,000. Two of the tens. Excuse me, two of the hundreds. Four of the tens. There's none of the ones, so it's just 3,143,240. Hmm. Now, let's see. How would we go in the other way? Write this Hindu Arabic numeral using Egyptian numerals. And it's multiple choice. But let's see. I'll do it without looking at them. That would be 100. That's this little symbol. That's the 100. 30 would mean you have three tens. One, two, three. And then two little strokes. So that's 100 plus 30 plus 2. Let's see, which one is it? Is it D? Yeah, it's D. It's a nice view of the sort of an early numeration system. Here's another one. Write this Hindu Arabic numeral using, using Egyptian numerals. Well, it would be 1,000, that's a little triangle with this, plus 700. To get 700, you'd have to have seven of these little things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 1,000 plus 700, 33, well that would mean 30, 10, 20, 30, and then three strokes. Any questions I'm doing this? Oh, there's only three choices. Is it B? Yeah, it is B. <coughs> Oh, now look at this one. It's number six. Right there. Hindu Arabic numeral for this Egyptian numeral. Okay. So we have 425,000. So we're going to first of all get the 400,000. So that would be for the little fish. One, two, three. Oops, uh, four. Okay, so it's for those little fish. Now, 25,000, that would be 2 of the 10,000. So we're using 4 of these, that would get 400,000, 400, plus 2 of these, 2 10,000s. Now, 5,000, that would be 5 of these, 3. Four, five. Now, so we've done 400,000 plus 20,000 plus 5,000. Now we're up to the 140. So that's going to be one of those. 10, 20, 30, 40. And no ones at the end. So, 400,000 plus 20,000 plus 5,000 plus 100 plus 40. So, let's see. It's got to be this one. This is the one that starts out with the four. My, their little fishy thing looks better than mine, of course. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
Any questions? That's the Egyptian numeration system. And it's just the adding values. Okay, you just add them up. Four hundred thousands. Who's a hundred thousand? There's four of them. There's two twenty thousands. There's five one thousands. One one hundred and then ten, twenty, thirty, forty. So next we're gonna look at the Chinese, the traditional Chinese numerals, numeration system. We'll through with that. And these Chinese numeration problems, I think, give you the little table with the numbers. So I like that. Yeah. So on number seven, it says, use the table, write the traditional Chinese numeral in Hindu Arabic with the Chinese uh, numeration system. The first thing they do is they write a number between 1 and 9, followed by a power of 10. They're traditionally written vertically, but I think to save space, you'll notice they start, my math lab starts writing them horizontally. Okay, so you first going to have a number between 1 and 9, followed by a power of 10. Okay, this symbol right here. Let's see, what does it look like? It's a uh, 8. The one immediately after it is a power of 10. If it were 10, then this would be 80. If it were 100, 8, 100. If this symbol is 1,000, 8,000. So we have 8, and this will tell us what it is, 100. So we have 800, this thing right here, 800. 8 and 100. Then you have another number between 1 and 9, followed by a power of 10. Well, let's see. Which one is this? Is that 2 and 10? So this is 800. These two marks right here that I've just circled, 2, 10, so that would be 20. And then this last number here, what is it? It is, hmm, can y'all see those marks? Is that a nine? So we have 829. This is a very nice little number system. Has a new, notice what numbers, or what numeral is missing here? Zero, they don't have a zero. Okay, you go eight hundred. 2, 10, so 20, and then 9. Let's do a bigger one. That's number 8. Let me cover this one. So we're looking at number 8 here. Write the Chinese numeral below as a Hindu Arabic. So the, begin, the first thing is a number between 1 and 9. Let's see, what is it? It's a four, okay? The next thing will tell us is this 400, 4,000, 40,000, 40, if it were a four and a 10. So these two right here, those circles, it's four, oh, and this symbol is thousand. So this is gonna be 4,000, Now let's see. There's this number. Hmm, which one is that? Is that a three? And what uh, power of ten is following it? It's just ten, right? So we have the first thing I circled here is four thousand. Right here we have a three. Tens, that would be 30. And what's this last mark? Two. So 4,000 plus 30 plus two, your answer is gonna be 4,032. Y'all see how I got that? 4,000, then we have 
3 10 so 32 you'll notice that wait they don't have a, uh, a zero with our place value system which we'll be discussing more in the next uh, assignment we've got to have that zero there because we go ones tens hundreds thousands okay four thousands no hundreds three tens two they don't have a place value system since there's no hundreds they just don't write the hundreds four thousands there's no hundreds so they're not going to write zero hundreds three tens two it's just a nice little intro for you to ancient numeration systems then here's our last one let's see I'll start off with blood starts off with the number between one and nine what is this oh is it a five five let's see now the next is a multiple of ten if it's a ten then it's fifty or if it's a hundred five hundred or five thousand let's see what these two go to it's five thousands so these two marks right here mean 5,000. Next. Let's see, what's this mark right here? Do y'all see it? Is it a 9? And then what power 10 is after it? 100? Is this 900 right here? Can y'all see this? Y'all see what I'm doing? 900. These two, what's that? Eight, ten, so eighty. And what's this last symbol here? Hmm. Is that a five? So we have five thousand nine hundred eighty. Like 5,985. So this is just a little short introduction to ancient numeration systems. Hopefully you've had a chance to read the uh, book and to uh, uh, watch the Pearson video that goes along with this. Okay? So next time we'll be discussing our numeration system. Uh, with place value and so forth and uh, I guess that's it for today a fairly short lesson so thanks for watching bye bye